Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Julia Rice here. If you're new, welcome. And if you've already been here, welcome back. Today we got a event with Butte Beauty and a couple other great brands like Zodica Beauty, I mean Zodica Perfumery, Sugar Mama Shimmer, and Mary Catherine's Jewelry Design Company. The showroom floor was so gorgeous. It had like this light pale pink color, which I love. And the perfume smelled really good. I got a couple goodies and I'll show you my goodie bag later. This is the Sugar Rama Shimmer Glitter. It changes the color different. The drinks different colors and you can put like shimmer on your cupcakes and it's all edible. And I love that. And Butte Beauty, which I'm an ambassador for. So make sure you use my code JuliaJR for some money off. The event was really adorable. Um, got some teeth whitening kits from Butte Beauty and like some eye and beauty, other beauty things. This is Mary Catherine the Designs. They're so, so cute. I can't wait to show you what, how I'm gonna style her pieces later. I got the cutest character drawing like I probably should hang it up. It's so freaking adorable. The girls were really nice. Um, I really liked the drinks and the hors d'oeuvres they had. It was such a fresh event just to get out and do some things with like, you know, a girly environment. Definitely had some cute photo ops. So I made sure I got some pictures in as well. I literally haven't stopped wearing the Zodica perfume and I'm getting so many compliments on it. Freaking adore. And as you can see, my teeth are um, looking pretty good, if I must say so myself, thanks to Butte Beauty and uh, the products that I've been using from them. So I love it. But um, now we're on our way home. After all this fun, I'm going to take this makeup off and I will show you guys uh, the gift bag I got. Ooh, so today was definitely a long day, but I'm glad I got through it. So um, I'm just finally taking off this makeup. I've been running around with it. And um, I've got some new beauty products that I have to share with you guys just to keep you guys up on the, the new trends I'm following. I'm really into these spa armbands. You could get them from Amazon. I'm pretty sure you could even use like regular sweatbands. Um, I like the material of these. And if you are a designer like me, you probably could just sew these. They're super easy to make, kind of like a scrunchie. But it helps the water from like falling down on your wrist. And usually I have like a brown puddle on my sink once I'm done washing my face, which is not that fun especially with a white countertop. But um, yeah, wrapping my hair up, cause you know, we don't want the hair to get too crazy. And I've been using this one size makeup dissolver spray. It saves so much time, like so much time. And makeup has been getting better and better. So it's actually a lot harder to take off than it used to be, you know. It's not as water, uh, I mean, it's more water resistant than, it's, than it used to be. I freaking hate that I have to use makeup wipes, but they come in so much handy trying to uh, just side swipe all this stuff right off. So I'm going to put some Paracomb No Rinse Micellar Water. This stuff is super thick and um, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't, ha you don't have to wash your face, but I am way too a type not to like really wash my face out after putting on makeup. And I have white pillows and light colored sheets. So let's try not to get the browns town all over the bed or people might talk about you. Not that, not that I would care though, but I, I may be sad <laughs> if it doesn't wash out. But um, as you can see, I'm just gently washing my face. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible, of course, because if you didn't know, all that tearing and pulling that you do on your skin could actually really aid you and drag your skin down. So you want to be as gentle as possible on that top epidermis layer to clean your skin. If you ever seen somebody get a facial done or gotten a facial yourself, you know how like the esthetician will... Um, massage your face in a certain way so that it doesn't hurt or disrupt your skin so here's my goodie bag from the event 
oh my gosh my holy grail <laughs> but i got definitely got some good stuff look at this sugar mama shimmer can't wait to make some drinks with that i got some cute jewelry and stuff and a um what do you call it oh a teeth whitening kit from Beauty Beauty and Zodica Beauty definitely hooked me up. I cannot wait to use that stuff. I mean, I've already been like overdoing it on the hair serum and the perfume. Like, it's been crazy. I had to go back to the website just to get some more stuff. And look how cute this jewelry is. Oh my gosh. Cannot wait. Yeah cannot wait to style this stuff so make sure you guys use my code julia jr to get some money off of beauty beauty okay guys now it is sunday and i gotta get some groceries for the week i've been trying to um get more into like vegetables and um not really uh eating too much meat Thank usually you. if i'm eating meat it's like when i'm going out somewhere or i'm trying to be like oh. do some fancy cooking at home but other than that I'm, I'm trying to do better for my mind and body health. Later on that day, I am I hit the spa. So this is where I get my facials and my body massages and my body scrub stuff, like all my little jazz stuff. They don't have a pool here like I usually like my spas to have or at least a hot tub, but this is an all women's spa, which I freaking love. I just don't have to worry about, you know, just having to have clothes on and stuff if that makes sense <laughs> well i guess it does make sense but um i am putting my stuff away so i can change into this like little disposable underwear set so that i can get my spot on i'm gonna be getting the harmon body scrub treatment when you see how this lady does this this is like the reason i come here i don't really think they do this treatment at any other spas um i, I know it's some uh like mediterranean type feel or whatever so i'm pretty sure it is related to the culture of this type of spa treatment and look at this room i i don't for, remember what type of tile this is but i know it has healing properties in it so right now she's just spraying me down and um rubbing my body with black soap so that it's like healing and um has a lot of good properties for the skin and then she's going to scrub my oh i actually went into the spa i mean to the steam room and let that all soak in, let the soap soak in for like 10, 15 minutes, which is amazing. Um, couldn't bring my phone in there, of course, because you know it's all steamy and I wouldn't even want to if I could, because you need to rest. So I put my phone up here and didn't have to worry. So she's just scrubbing all the dead skin off my body and then now she's going to uh, wash it off with the um, shower head. And I also got the hair wash treatment added on so she's also going to be washing and conditioning my hair um it's not about it really getting thorough because you know as a as a black woman we gotta really like dig into that those curls but um i just like the feeling of it just like fully getting pampered and as you can see so you see this big giant bubble oh my freaking gosh this is why i get this thing like i'm such a big kid like she's putting bubbles all over my body that's <laughs> It's really adorable. So, um, love this treatment.
now the overhead rain shower is going to do its job and um, I'm just washing the rest of the bit of my body um, you know just for extra loving on myself this spa treatment is amazing and then after this I am going to get a facial Now I'm sitting in the lobby waiting to be called for the next treatment. Just chilling out waiting here. Sometimes my skin acts like a hormonal teenager. So it's just up and down. Sometimes it's combination. Sometimes it's dry. Sometimes it's oily. So I just let the esthetician do what she feels as though is best. We end up having to go with the hydrofacial. I think the uh, she said the steam treatment made my skin just a little bit dry but as you see she got that glow right back in there with those shiny cheeks so <laughs> now we are back in the waiting area and i'm gonna enjoy some of this tea and a baklava i think that's what it's called but um this tea is so good it has like these little loose bits in it i have no idea what it is i really should ask because it just it's so relaxing it gets you right in the mood and this is the gorgeous like little waiting area you can sit in here sometimes it's so nice now i'm at the hair salon about to get my hair done professionally this is actually my first time getting my hair done here i actually went to the grand opening a few years back so i'm happy to finally get in the chair it's basically like a uh fast food for a hair blowout for you know curlier typed hairs so i love that and i love the treatment in there again the pale pink um i just it it's just calling me the attention love and care that i got at the salon for my natural hair is exactly what i needed um because I haven't been really taking care of my hair like I use, usually do, I go through like ups and downs with that as well because it, it's a lot. I got, I got really, really thick, soft hair. So when I decide not to take care of it, it breaks off really easy because it's soft. It's thick and soft, literally like wool but um yeah so they gave us some drinks i got my hair trimmed um which was such a need so she took like an inch and a half off or an inch or whatever um which like turns it into a little bob which i wanted i actually wanted to cut it shorter but um they don't cut it too they don't they don't i think they were allowed to cut like an inch off of hair but if my hair was doing better than i expected um yeah, so I was just like, let me just, you know, keep keep the little length that I got um, and just start this hair journey again because my hair goes pretty fast and good. So I ain't got too much to worry about. Um, yeah. And I love, 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 love changing my hair around. I love beauty, love fashion. So, you know, it's just cute. So that was my final look. As you can see, it's a lot more flowy, a lot more windy and of course when i step out of the salon the rain and stuff it was starting to drizzle after i got my hair done we went to get some tacos just like some easy little street tacos and a margarita um i guess you can call this dinner or lunch i don't freaking know i was just hungry after i got my hair done and tacos is what we decided on love to just have this play out but um you know they always got music on so i'm not trying to get copyrighted for stuff i'm not owning it looks so good i'm happy now i've been trying to get my hair to grow back and everything so Hopefully starting this new regimen is going to do just that. I cut like an inch and a half off. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to take care of it like I wanted, like I've been wanting to. So it's really, you know, not the best things, but you know, I'm gonna get back on it. So, but now we're just about to go home and get something to eat. It's been a long freaking day. 
yeah and i'll see you guys later now i need to get these nails done it's been too long like i literally hate getting my nails done i love you know how they look but sitting down for you know two hours when i have so many things on my mind to do i just uh, it makes me anxious as hell <laughs> well, i'm anxious but um yeah they look so good i decided to get like um some silver texture and some silver toes so that's such a little vibe Now I'm gonna do like a little mini get ready with me, if you guys don't mind. <laughs> um, where tonight we're going to the opening art gallery of Kopari uh, Art Gallery. It is like a wood type of art gallery, like um, from the Kopari tree. So it's really cute. You'll you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. But um doing my color correction i decided to go with like a little pop of color not too much i've been really obsessed with like shades of sage and just like earthy tones with a little sparkle I've, I, i'm just i'm just loving it um yeah and i am using the i think this is dior yeah this is foundation from dior i freaking love how thick this stuff is it feels like i'm wearing nothing even though it's such a good coverage and then i'm going on with my powder puff just to like make it as seamless as possible and yeah i freaking love the brush on this lancome what is this concealer it's such a thick but pointy brush and it has like this side um diagonal which makes it really easy to get under the eyes oh my gosh freaking love and if you do your um what do you call it eyeliner like i do that little tool to hold your eye instead of you know holding it down yourself can save you some trouble because i don't know how many times i have accidentally put a black mark or messed up my makeup by grabbing my face with my hands but um yeah now i'm using my finalized trick with the facial steamer to really lock in that makeup and it um it really makes the makeup like super blurred and airbrushed and i definitely had to go with a zodiac hair serum perfume it smells so good it's really really lightweight it's freaking perfect like just so perfect like it makes me want to scream just like that and just topping it off with some color wow finishing spray and a what do you call that oh shine spray it's like mystical shine spray such a cute little name and this is my final look excuse all those shoes right there i'm um yeah it's, like i said it's been a busy day <laughs> but um now we've made it to the art museum how cute is it in here it looks like musical notes and truly that's what it felt like the artwork was really really inspirational as well as spiritual if you don't know i may like super super in love with like the metaphysical and um just divine nature and higher higher consciousness that's that's my thing so they had the coolest best band like i was like i don't know who that girl is but she needs to come home and sing with me every day just like turn you on like a radio girl but um <laughs> yeah I, I definitely went to the art gallery wanting to steal people but uh yeah so we got some drinks got just some red wine and yeah just wanted to enjoy the night So the Kopari tree is a tree that is one of the, well, it's actually the most ancient and biggest trees. It's like 40,000 years old. So like you can really feel the energy of the room, just very high vibrational in the room. Um, 
honestly can even feel like the uh, older energies attached to the uh, to the wood. So it was just very beautiful. They added crystals to a lot of the pieces, shells, lots of very natural um, ornaments to just really lock it in and explain the artist's story even more. So you got like teardrops and just like lots of ancient um, symbols that mean something. So, yeah. Enjoyed myself and I think I did a good job on my makeup. So I am even feeling that. Cause like your girl said, it was a long day today. It's just, it's always a long day. <laughs> we work hard over here. But um, there's that girl. She was rocking out, killing it. Like, could have stole her for real. <laughs> it was definitely a super cool event. Um, a lot of people definitely enjoyed themselves. I definitely saw a few people um, almost stumbling out of there. <laughs> Which is definitely a little hilarious. But, um, yeah, you can see me jamming. Definitely was a cute vibe. They had some cars out front, you know. Give a little feel, give a vibe. Now we're on our way to dinner at Royal 38. So follow us there. Hello. I like the open. Never been here before. I know we walk past many times. We walk past many times, but I don't think we. Or, or did we? Did we live even outside one time? Long, long time. Oh, I don't even think it was World Thirty Eight. Maybe something else. You're so right. Like yeah. you remember sitting like over there. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, we're gonna do something too, whatever you want. Okay, we're gonna do, uh, first of all, the, the beautiful lady, she would like uh, a cab. The food was definitely hitting. I got a blue crab shrimp uh, fried rice and my husband got a burger. So we just ended up sharing and, you know, turning up each other's food like we usually do. <laughs> and um, the cab was super good. I don't know why I was in such a wine mood that night. I guess I just didn't need any frills. I don't want any eyes, la, 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 all that. Just, yeah, give me my, give me my wine and I'm feeling good. <laughs> Yeah, I would have loved to let you guys, you know, just hear what we were chatting about. But they were playing music everywhere we went. So, you know, didn't want to have that in here. I was too excited to get some real lump crab. Like, I'm a girl from Maryland, and now I'm all landlocked and can't get crab and, like, seafood like I easily used to be able to, but it's all good. The food is always super good here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you catch me on the next one and let me know how you guys feel about What's happened this week in the comments? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.